Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this is an energy healing recap video part four for March 4th, 2018, but it's also a really good and simple standalone video which you can do anytime you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear energy blocks that you may have above the top of your aura, which could be blocking or distorting your eternal wisdom. Uh, that's shining down on you from your eighth chakra. So I'm going to use a beautiful drawing to illustrate what I'm saying. So here is uh, the beautiful drawing. And this is you and this is your aura all around you, right? And then uh, this is your grounding. It goes up this high up to the third chakra and all the way down to the core of the earth, hopefully. And uh, so above the top of your aura, at least about three feet, but it could be, you know, 10 feet above... 12 feet above um, is your eighth chakra and your eighth chakra is part of you and it's you know we would say you're an eternal spirit and this part of you uh, this eighth chakra part of you doesn't get down into your body it stays up there so you can imagine it like a gold sun that shines down on you all the time and you want to make sure you don't have a lot of energy blocks here because you want to receive that eighth chakra energy because it's so calming. It has a very, it's like inner wisdom, you know, but like eternal inner wisdom. So it's, it's very nice. You know, it's sort of like a big picture thing where you really feel like things are going to work out. You know, you're not just saying it, <laughs> but not believing it. Like it, it really, and it helps you to sort of see how things are interrelated and helps you to just know that everything happens for a reason and it helps you to calm down you know not get stuck in like the little dramas uh so it's very 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 useful energy i would really recommend it um so that's what this video is going to be about uh we're just going to clear out energy blocks in the space um so that you feel your ace chakra energy as much as is healthy for you and um, this is something that you can do every day uh, and it would make your life definitely simpler for sure um, if you can't make up your mind about things if you have trouble making decisions uh, that would be a good reason to use it if you have like a negative worldview or something you feel like um, you, you just you don't have sort of a positive outlook naturally that could be a good thing to clear I mean, it didn't help everybody, but I would say particularly if you're kind of doomy gloomy, <laughs> that's a place you want to keep clearing. Um, okay. And then I think we'll, we'll start with a little bit of grounding and earth energy soak, just so that that's an easy process to do. And then we will end with a little angel blessing and maybe an affirmation. Okay. So, uh, First, like I said, we're gonna start with a simple grounding. So um, this is my beautiful drawing of grounding. And uh, so you wanna have it go up as high as your third chakra, which, you know, here's your sternum bone and where your sternum ends. That's where your third chakra is, okay? So make your grounding red or orange or yellow. And either, any one of those is fine. And so it goes up as high as your third chakra and it stays wide, as wide as your whole aura and goes all the way down to the core of the earth. Okay, I think I'll use orange this time, just for a variety. And then that's grounding, right? You can, I would definitely recommend grounding all the time, like being grounded all the time. In other words, you just create it and leave it that way and your grounding can get clogged up it can get smaller during the day so if you find that you're spacey or all of a sudden not so rational or not so productive i would recreate your grounding and make sure it's flowing and nice and wide again but anyway so that's grounding and then an earth energy soak is where you use the grounding like a straw to bring up a lot more earth energy than you would normally and much like the amount that's around you in a forest um, and that's why forests, one of the reasons why forests are so comforting. So let's get some of that going on. So bring up, use it like a straw, bring up a lot of earth energy, the exact color that you chose. So I'm going to choose orange and up, 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 and just soak your whole body and your aura and your spirit and, you know, even above your head, your aura above your head in the orange earth energy. 
and just you know soak that space above your shoulders your sinuses the back of your head the back of your aura all of it in the orange earth energy or red or yellow and so that's an earth energy soak right and in the quick flow playlist we do a lot of good stuff like that in the quick flow playlist uh so we just did that as a prep and now we're gonna imagine just imagine a copy out in front of you of just the top part of your aura if you want for me that's what i would do i would not be imagining all this right now i would just be imagining like this part you know the sun and then this space and then that you know or even you don't even have to imagine the sun just this space and then the top of your aura and I would just, that way you can make it kind of big. So I have the top of my aura, you know, maybe down here. And then, you know, the energy blocks, a lot of times they, they're flat and hard and they just stack up, you know, like books. Okay, so I have like 20 books up here. <laughs> and that's not a failure. It's not like I'm like, oh no, I suck at meditating. I should have less, oh. You know, don't, don't go there, please. <laughs> If you're going there, touch your six, come back up. It means that you're viewing from your fourth, which is, it can, can be more victimy. It can, if you view from here, it can get clogged a lot more and then you'll be stuck in a sort of a victim disempowered space. So take the elevator up, take the elevator up, bing, bing, view from your sixth, right? So you have the top of your aura and any energy blocks that are healthy and gentle for you to clear is what you're aware of and just use gold light you can even bring up purple earth energy and soak those energy blocks in purple earth energy and then keep combing with the gold light you can use gold fire if you want divine gold sandstorm if you want and that's from the quick flow playlist by the way but anyway just lots of gold light and just melt away the books melt away the energy blocks they can look like boxes they can look like bricks or rocks so just, I have about half of them melted. Sometimes if they take longer, you just have a lot of energy cords going into them from other people or yourself. So just keep the gold light melting away the cords. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was for me. So now those books that I had noticed are melted. So also you could have some uh, negative spirits up there above the top of your aura. Um, so those you might notice those as like very bright lights like a bright white light or a or, or a bright uh, shape that's more black uh so white or black so you could just you know imagine the top of your aura and just see if you notice anything very white or very black and then just point that out to your angels one at a time well you can point them like i see one that is very white and one that is very black so i'm just gonna say with my mind angels can you recycle that and that and then they're like good catch janet good job <laughs> So you just, that's all you do. You just spot them for your angels and say, angels, can you recycle that and that? You know, uh, sometimes, you know, little spirits, they, they sort of look like a big cloudy mass, you know, and you could use your intuition and think, oh, well, that's really six little tiny beings, you know, making this cloudy mass, which I happen to have too. <laughs> what a good demonstration. <laughs> so I do have a, a, like a little cloudy mass of like four little spirits making a cloudy mass above the top of my aura. So I'm just going to point that out to my angels and say, angels, can you recycle that cloudy mass there, all four of those beings? And they're like, good cats, Janet, there were four. Good job. So if you're a newbie, your angels are not going to expect you to count how many there are. You could just say that and your angels will be like, good job. Yes, we'll be happy to do that. <laughs> But if you're more advanced like me, then they're like, how many beings are there, Janet? <laughs> and then you just use your intuition to count. But you don't want to interact with any negative spirits. Like, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, just point them out to your angels and your angels will recycle them for you. Okay? And then just go ahead and notice again, because maybe after you've removed some of your, with angel help, you've had some spirits removed from above the top of your aura. Now you can maybe notice some energy blocks you didn't see before. So I do see five more that are healthy and gentle for me to clear right now. So go ahead and notice any more energy blocks above the top of your aura that are healthy and gentle for you to clear. And, uh, and just bring up purple earth energy and soak the energy blocks. And it could just, 
appear to you like a mass of black rock or something. So you don't have to count, you know, like me, like, oh, seven books, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, sometimes energy blocks look different and yeah, that's fine. So purple earth energy and gold light and just melt them away. So I had about five books. So now I have three books. I just like doing that because then I know I'm making progress because there were five and now there are three. <laughs> but it's not essential to count. I only have one. More gold light, more purple earth energy, more gold light. Just melt away the cords from everybody that are going into those energy blocks. There we go. Ah, nice. So this can make things simpler in your life because that eternal wisdom is shining down. Like your eternal self like thinks things are pretty simple. Like it's so clear. Why is she taking four hours to make her up and make up her mind on that? You know, but then, so your eternal self would be sending you down like the simple version of the decision and without the four hours of going back and forth. But then all these energy blocks and maybe some spirits would be distorting it. And so that's how you take four hours to complete something really simple. So you just clear that out. So then that simple wisdom comes down a lot more easy, easily. So let's, um, let's again do another grounding. Um, because thinking about all the way up there, sometimes that, you know, your spirit might still be up there kind of watching everything. You want to come back down, stay down here. So wiggle your toes, feel how that feels. That brings you all the way down into your toes, you know, touch your fingertips, feel how that feels. Hmm. So redo your grounding, make it as wide as your whole aura, red or orange or yellow. I'm gonna do yellow this time for variety. And so that's grounding, make it as high as your third chakra. And all the way down to the core of the earth. And so that's grounding. And then bring up earth energy, do an earth energy soak of that color. So I'm gonna bring up yellow earth energy, up, 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 all the way up to the top of your aura. Just soak, soak everything in the earth energy and that just kind of chills you out, relaxes you. All right, yay, yay, yay. So we can finish up with uh, maybe an affirmation and an angel blessing. So an affirmation, uh, you know, affirmations, you can make them up for yourself and you can write them down somewhere that you see them regularly if you really like one. Uh, they're like little quick meditations. Uh, so one that I would suggest, but it's not, you know, law, you can use a different one if you feel. Um, I am open to my eternal wisdom. I am open to my inner wisdom. So you wanna just breathe in as you think about something like that. You know, I'm open to my inner wisdom. I'm open to my inner wisdom. All right, and then um, to finish up, let's just ask your angels, you ask your angels, I'll ask mine, uh, for a blessing and a healing, okay? And they're gonna know just what you need, which is really nice. So angels, can you please give me a blessing and a healing? That's all you have to say with your mind, okay? Angels, can you please give me a blessing and a healing? And then just keep breathing deeply. The more present you are, that can help you receive more. If you want, you can also say some affirmations as your angels are healing you, like I am fully open to divine assistance. Divine assistance means basically from angels. <laughs> I am fully open to divine assistance. Another nice one is I can let go. I can let go. Another one you might like is, I'm gonna let my angels help and guide me and protect me. 
during my day and in my sleep. I'm going to let my angels help and guide and protect me during my day and in my sleep. All right. Good job, guys. So um, what we did is we cleared up energy blocks and also some negative spirits that were in the space above the top of your aura, between the top of your aura and your eighth chakra so that you can more easily receive your eighth chakra energy, which is basically eternal wisdom and healing energy. Okay, guys. Good job. Bye.